Damn, damn, damn. Listen, these short ribs over some mashed potatoes with some homemade gravy here just kind of different. Listen, get ready for your next Sunday dinner and let's hop off into the recipe. All right, y'all. So first things first, what we're going to get is our red potatoes right here. All right. So we got about like six, seven red potatoes. Just cut them into fourths. Make sure you wash them. And then what we're going to do is put them in some cold water. The reason we put them in cold water is just so that way we don't allow these to oxidize and get brown. So depending on how many people you're going to feed, we're going to start off with some short ribs right here. So we're going to get some garlic and herb seasoning right here. Uh, get whatever works for you. It doesn't have to be this exact brand. But if you need kind of a reference point, if you need a reference point, here's the ingredients right here. Cool. Got some garlic powder. All right, now with your garlic pepper, uh, this is a great way to go because you get a two for one with this. You feel what I'm saying? So garlic pepper, believe it or not, it has salt in it, uh, but it's not the most concentrated as if you were to get something like your Tony's or anything like that. Plus, furthermore, we're not using Tony's in this. But we're going to use a little bit of this Grillmates brown sugar rub or brown sugar marinade mix. We're going to use just a little bit of that. And then some crushed red pepper. All right, so go light with that crushed red pepper or else you're going to have like a real spicy... Nah, you don't want your you don't want your short ribs to be spicy. I mean, if that's your thing, go crazy with it. But you... all right, listen, listen. If you ever wanted me to actually cook for you in person, now is your chance right here. All right, so I'm doing a private dinner raffle that's gonna be going through the end of this month, and we're gonna announce the winners at the beginning of August. All right, so it's gonna be a fully catered dinner for two, three course meal, and then all I need from you is to simply give me your stove and step out the way, and I got the rest. So the tickets are available via the link in my bio, or you can go to cordandthekitchen.com. Again, that's cordandthekitchen.com, all right? If you haven't already, go ahead and grab your tickets. Invest the luck. <laughs> yes, Lord. So our Dutch oven has been heating up already on medium heat, so it's nice and primed for us. Go ahead and add in a couple of sprays of thyme, and go ahead and add in some rosemary. And once that gets nice and infused, add in your short ribs. We just trying to sear these. We don't need to cook these all the way through like that. So you're gonna do these for about three minutes each side. So. Now what we're gonna do is take these short ribs off and put them onto a cutting board, just like you see here. They're not gonna be completely tender how we want them, but that's all right. We're just gonna let those rest and cook any remaining short ribs that you have. Then we'll go ahead and get started on our gravy. Back to it, so what we got, we got about a quarter cup of flour. I'm gonna go ahead and get that on in. Turn the heat down to about a low because we're using the same oil that we cooked everything with. And just go ahead and whisk everything together. All right, as that starts to thicken, go ahead and add in your red wine. Add in about a quarter to half a cup. Now we'll add our beef broth. So you add in about a quarter to half a cup. We want this thing to be nice and juicy and sucky. Bring that all to a boil. So I'm turning that heat back up now. I'm gonna add in some minced garlic here. Once our sauce comes to a boil, what we're gonna do is add in our onions. So get you a couple of handfuls of some chopped onions. It can be a rough chop, that's completely fine. All right, now all we're gonna do is plug our short ribs on in. We're gonna add in some Worcestershire. Add in some Worcestershire. I believe that's how you say it. Go ahead and just pour some in. Get about two, three cups worth. I mean, two, three capfuls worth. Then next up, what you're gonna get is some liquid smoke. You can get hickory liquid smoke from pretty much anywhere. Just add a few dabs of that in there. Just gonna pick up that flavor some. And then just go ahead and give everything a stir real quick so you get those juices all around. Get your onions. Beautiful. Oh my God. Now, lastly, make sure your oven is preheated to 350 and then also go ahead and season up that juice to your liking with garlic salt or regular salt. Then you're going to add a rosemary sprig and a thyme sprig. Then after that, we're going to cover this thing up with a lid and cook it for about two to two and a half hours. All right, if you know nothing else about me, 
I likes garlic. So we're gonna get some garlic salt. It's heavily season this water once it comes to a rolling boil because we're gonna get ready to start our potatoes. Always do this once the water comes to a rolling boil. Uh, always do this after the water comes to a rolling boil, just so that way uh, the boiling point isn't as high. Fun fact. So you go ahead and get your potatoes. And just set your potatoes on in. If you choose to peel your potatoes first, that's up to you. There's no right or wrong answers on this. And we're gonna let these boil for about 30 to 45 minutes until they're tender. If you leave the skin on, you leave the skin on. If not, you still all right. So right there in the pot, we've already drained out the water from the potatoes and added three knobs of butter. So add in a pint of some heavy cream. Add in just a little bit of milk, all right? Just a little bit. Black pepper. Garlic salt or regular salt, like some sea salt to your taste level. Sour cream. A lot of it. <laughs> okay, so the heat from the pot is gonna actually help us to mash these potatoes down. So just go ahead and get in there. Give it a taste and then set these aside. Last but not least, we almost done. We just got to do our asparagus. Asparagus is going to be real simple. So you're just going to go ahead and season it up how you like and then cook it until it's fork tender and remove it. And then check these short ribs. Oh my God, damn. Those look amazing. Look, some of them falling off the bone. You know what I'm saying? It's going to give you everything you need and then some more to go with. And last but not least, you're going to have to fix you that place. So you're going to start off with your mashed potatoes, and then you're going to build on top with them short ribs and that gravy. Yes, Lord. Then you're going to get your asparagus. My, my, my. And then you got to get your culinary decoration, which is parsley. Go ahead and set that on top ever so nicely for the color to make it pop. And then let's eat. That's fucking ridiculous, bro. <laughs> what? Come on. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have pressure right now. <laughs> yes. Oh.